Holy smokes, guys. It's the brand new Odyssey Carbon, C-R-B-N. Their uh, new electrostat offering from a company that's primarily known for its um, planar headphones. So I guess this, the back story on this one is, and they've got like a video you can go watch, but the, the general back story is they were working on developing a pair of uh, headphones that would work in MRI machines, which means you've got, you know, constraints around what materials, metals, you can use. So this is a polymer film with suspended carbon nanotubes um, as as the film element uh, inside the E-STAT, and I guess that solved their problem and also created uh, something that they feel is pretty special, and you know what? I, I think it's pretty special as well. Uh, so when I... All right, let's just talk about the build for one sec, because the build is pretty, pretty darn nice. Um, had a couple of Odyssey and never really thought the build was all that special. They felt kind of clumsy to me. Um, sorry, uh, welcome your hate mail. Uh, but these are just really, I mean, you gotta have carbon fiber if you're calling it the carbon. These are really nicely put together. Everything feels so thought through and well finished. Um, it's hard to see, but it's got this kind of swirly bowling ball <laughs> esque pattern in this material right here. Um, it's a nice detail. Sometimes, like when I first got them out, I was like, oh dear, what happened? But then once you study them, you're like, oh, that's pretty. So one of those, this mesh is, of course, very, very gorgeous. Um, they're crazy light, super light on the head, um, very comfortable, uh, really no complaints about sort of build. You know, it's it's East Atlanta, so hey, this cable's attached. Um, the cable's a little long for desktop usage, but it's not... It's not horrible. It's not. It's it's round instead of the ribbon style that you'll see on stacks. Um, so closer to like the Dan Clark Audio uh, Estat, the the vo vo Voce cable. Um, yeah, like I said, it's a little long for desktop use, but I think they would have gotten in trouble if they made it shorter because it just wouldn't suit as many applications, and you can't take it off. So anyway, uh, sort of standard Odyssey adjustment mechanism here. Anyway, uh, how's it sound? Well, you know what. Put it on at first like nothing really jumped out and i was like oh well, that's kind of cool it's like like the planar of e stats it's like a really well balanced planar and it's like just a really great all-around headphone without a like a strong point of view or something that's trying to shove down your down your throat which i'm a fan of a kind of more sort of neutral you know chameleon of a of a headphone and i continued i think to be true but i did i did pull out some nuances about the sound the more I listen to it. Um, I'm going to start with sort of like soundstage and imaging and um, I, I think it's the imaging is sort of brilliant on this thing like the, the separation of instruments is awesome you can really pick things out you can picture them in space. Um, the soundstage isn't like super wide if you like a really uh, kind of broad soundstage I don't think that this is really going to satisfy you necessarily it's not it's not like claustrophobic it's just not it's not super huge and expansive um and it can almost like create multiple like sound spheres like image spheres at the same time like there'll be some stuff where you're like oh i'm sitting in a small room and that's really close to me but then there's also that thing that's like way far off down the hallway um so it's kind of a unique listen it's got kind of a cinematic vibe to it, it can be very like sort of engaging and, and sort of make your mind wander and, and sort of picture stuff. It's like like a synesthesia headphone or something. Um, but it's very cool, uh, very enjoyable in, in that respect. The highs are uh, characteristically e statty They are sharp, they are precise, they are crisp. They start and end when they should. Um, they appear in space where they should. Uh, they, they've got punch. I wouldn't call them bright, though. I think some e-stats you immediately go like, uh-huh, bright, ouch. It's not that, but they definitely have uh, some oomph behind them. So if you like, you know, pronounced, strong, opinionated highs, I think this is this is uh, definitely characteristic of, of this headphone, like many e-stats, but, but balanced here. Uh, mids. The mids are forward um, in, in a nice way. I think if you like uh, a lot of uh, vocals, male, female, whatever, if you like that sort of mid-range tonality to come forward uh, again these headphones do that very well and they present so much detail in in, in the mid so like uh, like i said in vocals you just are hearing so much um you know wisp and crispiness and uh just you know i'm just it's just impressive the the vocals are definitely a, a sort of noteworthy in this um you, you know all that detail will start to erode fluidity a little bit in my mind um 
but it's just a trade-off. It's kind of like, what do you like? Do you like, do you want a lot of texture and information or do you want something that's sort of woozy and, and moves you through the music? And it's hard to do both, right? I think your brain <laughs> can only kind of process uh, one way or another to a certain extent. Um, but the mids have like force and, 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 you know, impact, um, in a way that is, is sort of unique, I think, to this, this headphone, the, the bass, uh, the bass is nice. It's, it's, it's got a width to it, which is, is really, is really interesting. It's got a lot of detail again, like a lot of texture and nuance in the bass. Um, it's very tight. It's like very like drums, like drum hits start with a slam, um, and then, you know, fade off. And there's just so much information there. It doesn't, doesn't go deep, deep in my experience. Um, there's other headphones at this price, price point that go much deeper. Um, so if you're like, I gotta have some deep resonating bass, then at least in my experience with the, uh, energizers I had on hand, I, I didn't find that to be its strength. But if you like slam in your bass, if you like, you know, tight articulation in your bass, if you like detail, then again, um, this headphone's pretty, pretty incredible in that regard. Uh, you know, they can provide a pretty intense listen. So they're not, they don't like beat you up right off the bat. You don't put them on and immediately go like, Oh, that was cool. But I can't listen for more than 10 minutes because my ears are bleeding. It's not, it's not that, but you know, they, they really manage very complex passages <laughs> with a lot of grace in that they don't get lost. They don't have to start sort of dropping information, but that means all that information is coming at you and all of it, the highs, the mids and the bass all have impact. So if you're listening to a, an intense passage in music, that's got a lot of information and a lot of instruments and they're all punching that you feel all it. It's like, whoa, it's like, it, it gets, it gets very intense. Um, kind of a, like a wall of sound or like an information overload where you're just like, I can, it's like, it's all coming. I like it, but I can't quite process it fast enough. Um, it, it can feel a little bit crowded sometimes compared to um, other sort of flagshipy headphones like that create a bit more sort of space in the music and in between instruments. I'd, I'd say this guy can feel a little bit more, um, a little bit, and it's not claustrophobic, it's just kind of crowded. Um, but it's very revealing in all ways, and that also means that if you're, the quality of your recording is not great, uh, or what's upstream is not great, like you hear, you hear everything, um, which... You know, for better or for worse, um, they are still Estats at the end of the day, and so they have some of the baggage that Estats have. Um, you know, they can get a little shouty at times, um, not as much as a lot of other things I've listened to, but they can. Um, they uh, they need to be driven properly, and like they're, you're going to get very different experiences out of this headphone depending on what energizer you plug it into i had three on hand i swapped between them and you got very very different experiences it's true of a lot of e-stats but i think here it might be even more pronounced um there's this other thing about e-stats i think i've talked about before maybe in the 007 review is that like you, you're turning up the gain level you know you're turning up the volume knob and from like the first half of the range you're just getting more volume and then you sort of stop getting more volume at least not at the same uh, uh, sort of arcing graph and now you start getting more fullness and i think these headphones if you don't listen to them with enough drive can feel kind of dull kind of flat just kind of like meh and then you crank them up a little more and they don't necessarily get a ton louder but they just fill in and then you go whoa these are actually really special um so just a just a heads up uh, on that guy so yeah what's the what's the sort of summary the takeaway for these guys uh they're beautiful they're light they're comfortable and they sound amazing they are a super well-rounded you know flagship e-stat they should be at their price point um they you know feel like an e-stat made by a planar company um i thought you know the dan clark audio uh, uh volce and you know uh Haifamen's um, Shangri-La Junior, like these other, I, I, I feel like there's stacks <laughs> and then there's all the other companies that make like one or two e-stats, but really make a lot of either plain or dynamic headphones. And the way that those companies approach it feels very different. And so this is more in line to me with that camp than with the stacks camp. Um, and by that, I mean, it's just a little more of that sort of planar signature if that makes sense but with some of those great e-stat punchy characteristics um 
plan to invest in a very nice Energizer if you plan to invest in these headphones and don't already have one. Uh, if you look at Odyssey's website, the Energizer sitting in the background is the Head Amp Blue Hawaii Special Edition six grand or whatever. Um, so that <laughs> that's what they think the right pairing is. Uh, you can be your own judge. Anyway, thanks so much for uh, hanging out and checking out these uh, very, very cool headphones with me. Um, if you enjoyed this video or anything else on the channel, please subscribe. We've got more fun stuff on the way and would love to keep you in the loop about it. Until next time, this is Signcraft signing out.